We've got a new toy for you. A mortar turret. This heavy emplacement drops large explosives on groups of monovisions. Boom! <laughs> we probably shouldn't test that one out on the ship anymore. Hey everybody, Hawkeye0203 here, back for some more trenched let's do a let's play. Um, I actually recorded this gameplay a while ago, and I'm just now doing a commentary for chassis. it. Chassis come in a variety of configurations. Each chassis has a different number and type of weapon and emplacement slots. Assault chassis have more weapon slots and fewer emplacement slots. Engineering chassis have fewer weapon slots and more emplacement slots. Try out different chassis types to find the trench loadout that fits your style. Alright, um, yeah, so here you get to watch my indecisiveness. That's what it really comes down to, is my indecisiveness. I am absolutely horrible when it comes to, uh, games like this, like customizing stuff. I always try to get the best bang for your buck kind of deal, you know? I try to decide, okay, what's my play style, and what's gonna fit me best, and it just bottom line comes out to be I can generally manage with whatever I pick but I just try really really hard to get the best the best fit and it just takes forever so uh, yeah I don't know what I end up doing here this was recorded a long time ago um, but uh, yeah I wanted to first off apologize for my absence in the trenched uh let's do a let's play um i've actually been off on my little black ops hit or miss tangent um it's pretty fun i like doing that but i also like trenched you know and i thought i would uh, uh get going on this again and um actually got brought up today i was um uh, chatting with chris or nasty monkeys and uh I asked him when the next episode in his Left 4 Dead 2 series was coming up, and he said, well, when's the next in your trench coming up? So I was like, oh, touche. So I thought I would just do it. You know, I had some time while dinner was cooking. So we'll get this done here, and then uh, I'll get um, the next episode after this up fairly quick as well, because I think, if I'm remembering correctly, this episode actually um, incorporates the same mission as well as the next. I actually had to split it in half because it took too long. Um, so hopefully we will get that uh, get that one um, commentated here pretty quickly after this. That way you know, I'm not leaving you guys hanging on the gameplay too long so you can see the finish of it. Um, and then I'm going to have to actually play more and record more. Oh shucks. You know, because I actually hate playing games. I hate my Xbox. <laughs> I am kidding of course have I decided what I'm doing yet no apparently not I'm still deciding my turret emplacements what turrets I want mm -hmm. oh that's good stuff take a drink of some more awesome sauce some blue moon Belgian white ale now kids if you're under 21 I do not condone drinking if you're over 21 drink until you pass out just kidding. I never actually have. I've never actually been drunk. Believe it or not. I don't know if you would believe that or not. You don't even know me that well. <laughs> oh boy. It is getting late and I am starving. Wait for dinner. Oh, wait. Do we have progress? Nope. Nope. What am I doing? Make a decision, Dan. Pretty cool though, all the customizing they give you with this. It's it, it's sweet. The different uh, uh, armaments you can carry, the different turret styles, it is a fairly fairly sweet game. I actually read, um, or I shouldn't say read, I skimmed a review in the latest, I think it was the latest anyways, Game Informer magazine. I have a subscription to that, and they gave this game like a what was it, a seven point something or an eight point something. I thought it was better than that, frankly. I think it's it's much better. So I don't know what's what uh, what they're ingesting over there, whether it's through their mouth or nose. I don't know, but 
someone is on some serious drugs. I have noticed though that I don't really agree with critics too much, especially like movies and video games. I've always actually gone against critics on movies in particular. I've noticed I don't like, or I don't, I don't agree with what critics say. If they say it's bad, I watch it and it's awesome. So, whatever. Maybe I'm just not sophisticated like they are. So game reviews, I'm kind of the same way. I, I do put more stock in, in um, some game reviews like IGN.com and stuff, but what it ultimately comes down to is I go and I watch videos, and I read several reviews, and I make my own decision before I do something. So, yeah. Let's see, are we going to finally get this going? This railway provides the easiest route to safety for surviving civilians. We must ensure that it stays operational. This railway provides the easiest route to safety for surviving Is there civilians. An echo? Didn't he just say we that? must ensure that it stays operational. We've gotten word that Vlad's been working on a new type of thick tube armor. You'll need to outfit your trench with some explosive weapons to combat this. Mm. Also, I just outfitted my trench. for aerials coming across the water I knew that. and enemies flanking from behind the station. This railway provides the easiest and again, for third time's a charm. We must ensure that it stays operational. Deploy. We've gotten word that yeah, flat. let's go. All right, finally getting into this. Halfway through this recording, we're finally going to see some gameplay. Sorry about that, guys. The destruction caused by Vlad's creations is truly devastating. The civilians in this area have lost their homes and are living in a war zone. Clear the train yard of tubes, so they may escape to a safer place. You men of war, you think bullets are the answer to everything. Bullets are not the answer to Frank. Hell yeah, they are. Especially not when you are fighting my new breaker. Whoa. Those armored tubes shrug off normal bullets. Use explosive weapons to crack their thick shells. So yeah, so this was actually, um, when I, I remember when I was recording this, I did not talk hardly at all. So it's actually kind of good that my live commentary didn't didn't uh, record because it would have been boring as all hell. And that was a total artillery fail because I didn't know that the range was so short. But it's really cool when you do finally hit one of these guys with one of the artillery, what happens? Boom! It like blows their armor off and then they charge forward without the armor and then bullets can kill them but that this the the I don't know what you want to call it flak cannon I've got on me that like thing reloads so slow it is ridiculous but packs a wallop though yeah but this mission took me long enough where I actually had to split this into two episodes though if I'm remembering correctly, they actually inflicted some pretty, pretty decent damage on uh, on the base I'm protecting. I actually failed and let quite a few through. Why don't they just give up? So, anyways, yeah. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on uh, anything you want to see, um, any uh, any game, if I have it anyways, I'll record it. Um, if you have any suggestions on Trenched here, if uh, you want to see something in particular, you know, let me know. Um, quality, audio, I mean anything. You know, I'm new to this whole thing, so I'm still testing a lot of configurations out. Uh, so if you guys want to see something or you think something would look or sound better if I did something, let me know. On that note, um, I actually just realized too that uh, Sony Vegas does not like to play well when I record in MP MP4. Um, so actually, uh, a lot of my videos coming up here in the future and ongoing will be recorded in the M2TS. Um, what was happening was Sony Vegas. Um, previews the little preview window was very choppy I couldn't get good timing on it nothing um, so that was a problem and then when I would actually render out fast motion would give me lines like the whole screen would look like somebody just put blinds over it um, you know like window blinds and they get really like liney 
um, and it looked horrible. I couldn't get them out. I tried every possible setting configuration I could find. I googled nothing. Well, um, Chris, Nasty Monkeys, and also uh, Tom or Lasty, uh, he they both um, at at some points mentioned recording or mentioned starting to play with the, with my HD PVR settings, and I actually switched it to record in M2TS, which is a Sony Sony's own native format. Um, I never know. I never figured out why I didn't put two and two together. But recording in M2TS or Sony's format, and then putting it into Vegas, which is a Sony program, voila! They work brilliantly together. Duh. So I'm recording in M2TS now, um, which is the PS3 setting on the HD PVR as opposed to the Xbox 360 setting, which is MP4s. So my quality will will improve here uh, once I get some of these older gameplays out of the way I'm, all my new stuff now is recorded in the new format so everything will start to look peachy and better but uh, we're coming up here pretty quick near the end of where I'm gonna cut this one off I think yeah this has got to totally be two episodes This game rocks, though. I'm really looking forward to getting back into it, because I haven't actually played it since I recorded this session here, because I've been in Black Ops, but uh, I, I, I was bitten by the Call of Duty bug again, thinking about Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3 and stuff coming out here, so that's why I was focusing more time on that. But I'm totally going to get back into this game next time I have another sit-down-and-play session, get some more episodes pounded out for you guys. I bet you these uh, tubes that I'm shooting right now are pretty popular with the ladies. Look at those tongues. Okay, that was pretty wrong. <laughs> but it was funny. <laughs> and I think I'm. Um, this is probably going to be the last wave. I think I'm going to cut it off after this. So, um, ta-ta for now, and we will see you later.